Okay, so I'm going to start with the MAC Prep and Prime 24 hour extended eye base and I'm just applying this to my eyes and it's really tacky so we're going to set it with um, the banana powder from the Morphe 9C palette and this is just going to help make it so the eyeshadows blend better because when it's really tacky they won't blend as well. Then we are going in with the Morphe 35K palette and I'm going in with this peach color right here and this is just a transition shade, you can barely even see it. So we're just applying this that way those darker colors have something to blend up into because if we just go in with straight black then it's going to look like we got punched in the eye. So you want to start off lighter and go darker. And there's really no structure to this, we're just applying this um, from the crease up to the brow bone. Then we're going to mix these two brown colors from the 35K palette and we're pretty much doing the exact same thing that we just did just with a darker color to help make it gradual. And now we can start getting in a darker color. So I'm going in with these two darker brown shades from the same palette and I'm going in with a more dense brush. This is the Morphe M443 and I'm just going back and forth in the crease and I'm just going to go in windshield wiper motions until the brush is cleaner and then I'm going to start blending it up into the transition shade. And we just want to make sure to keep this low and tight and just keep building it until the color is as dark as you want it. So now that we've applied all those shades of brown, we can go in with our black. So I'm going in with this Makeup Geek eyeshadow in the shade Corrupt. And you want to go in with a really small, dense brush. This is almost like a pencil brush, except it's rounded. And I believe it's from e.l.f. Cosmetics. And I'm just applying this in a halo form. So I'm applying it on the outer part of my lid, in my crease, and on the inner part of the lid. And we're going to leave the middle of the lid clean so that we can put the glitter there. And with the black, you just want to make sure that you keep it really low and don't get too messy with it because that's when it's going to start to look dirty or like you have a black eye not put together. You just want to keep it really low and keep it really clean and once there's no pr product left on the brush then you can start to blend it up a little bit just to blend out any harsh lines. Now, just to make sure we really don't have any harsh lines, I'm going back in with that crease brush that we used earlier and those brown shades and I'm just blending out the everything to make sure that it all looks gradual. Then I'm going in with my favorite glitter primer and this is the Too Faced Glitter Glue and this NYX Silver Glitter. And I'm going to take a flat brush and spray it with Fix Plus so that way we can make sure the glitter sticks onto the brush. And I'm just going to start applying this to that bare part that we have on our lid. And you want to make sure that your brush is nice and wet so that you don't have any fallout or at least minimal fallout. And the key to this is to just start off with a little bit of glitter and just keep building it. You don't want to go in with a whole bunch of glitter at once because then it's just going to be a mess. And make sure that you let it dry in between layers. Then we can just take a makeup wipe and wipe any fallout away and then we can move on to the face. So I just use my Makeup Forever HD Stick Foundation and when I'm doing a smoky eye like this I really like a full coverage foundation and this stick foundation really has a full coverage to it and I'm just buffing that out with my Morphe M439 brush. And because the eyes are so dark I like to make sure that I don't have any dark circles so I'm just color correcting my under eyes with the Urban Decay Peach Concealer and buffing that out with a little tiny brush and then I'm going to go in with my regular concealer which is the Urban Decay um, full coverage concealer and I'm just going to do that under my eyes and down the middle of my face. Then just buffing that out with a damp beauty blender. I love using a damp beauty blender for my concealer because it picks up any extra products that way it doesn't get cakey at all. And remember when you're buffing out under your eyes to go back and forth in both directions so that way your concealer doesn't settle in to any fine lines. And I'm just setting my under eyes with that same banana powder that we used from the Morphe 9C palette to set our eyelids. And I didn't record me setting my whole face, but I did set my whole face with the RCMA No Color Powder. 
And then I'm just going to go in with NARS Laguna Bronzer and I'm going to use this Wet n Wild brush and start contouring out my cheekbones, my forehead, and the sides of my nose. And then for blush, I'm going to use the pink blush from the Tarte Bling It On palette. I like adding rosiness to my cheeks when I do a look like this since there really isn't any color in the eyes, it can wash you out. And then I'm just going to clean up my contour with the banana powder from that same Morphe 9C palette. Now that the face is done, we are going to go back to the eyes and I'm taking that same small brush that I used for the black eyeshadow and I'm just going back in and blending out that glitter. Looking back at this, I wish that I wouldn't have blended it out so much. I wish I would have just done it lightly because it ended up getting rid of a lot of the glitter that I had. So just keep that in mind if you're doing this look. And then I just highlighted my brow bone with a light color from that same 35K palette. Then I am filling in my eyebrows with the Anastasia Brow Definer in the shade Dark Brown and I'm setting it with a clear brow gel. Fill your brows in however you want, it's all personal preference, but I do really recommend this Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. It's like super glue for your brows and your brows will stay in place all day. Then for liner, I'm going in with the Maybelline Gel Eyeliner and I'm just doing a thin line just so that way my lash band blends in. But again, liner is personal preference. If you want to add a wing, make it thin, make it thick, all your choice. I just recommend making sure that you actually do liner, otherwise the glitter can really show through on the lash band. And then going into the lower liner, I'm using a pencil brush and I'm starting out with the light brown eyeshadows that we use as a transition and then going into those deeper brown shadows that we use in the crease and I'm just blending that out on my lower lash line. And then with the flat definer brush, I'm putting the Makeup Geek Corrupt right on the lash line and I'm not bringing that down as far as we brought the brown down. And then I'm going to use the L'Oreal Black Eye Coal. And I'm just going to put that right on the inner rim of my eyes to really deepen up the look. Then I'm just going to coat my top lashes with mascara so that they blend into the falsies. And then use the same mascara on my bottom lashes. And then I'm going to go in with the Ardell Demi Wispies and just apply that as close to your lash line as possible. And then I suggest a nude lip with this, that way the eyes stand out. I use Max Honey Love Lipstick, but it's your choice. And then you are all done and you have your gunmetal look. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!